Keep firing. Do not stop. Copy that. Let it rain. All right, push up, push up. Push up one more. All right, hold. We got it. We got it. Artillery, drive him back. Destroy this side. We're taking it back. Fire, fire, fire. Big side, quick. You're hitting the town hall. Again. I'm right back. You're up the legend. I got you. I got you, man. Keep it up. We're taking this back tonight. All right, we didn't Yo, they're charging with big nets. People up now. Hey, now, now, now. Somebody get a gun. Welcome to another episode of War 83. But before we dive into it, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the support. It's been incredible seeing so many of y'all in the comments and Discord saying how much you're enjoying the videos. And because of you guys, I have an exciting announcement to make. I am now officially an Apex Gaming PC partner and have officially released my own line of gaming PCs, optimized for virtual reality, all the latest FPS games, and of course, Foxhole. I've worked with Apex Gaming to suggest some awesome hardware presets for you guys based on budget and what you want to do with your PC, but everything is customizable if you want to mess around with it yourself. These things are awesome inside and out, and I'm so incredibly thankful for the opportunity. So if you are looking for a PC, do make sure to click the link in the description below and use code MOY for additional discounts. But enough of that, let's get on with the show. It had been three days since the start of the Great Colonial Counterattack, and although many fronts were scrambling at the start, after our last stand at Evil Eye, the majority of Warden forces had actually been able to recover the gains that they had lost. As much as things were looking up for our troops in Faranak, Deadlands, and Marbon Hollow, the Royal Spuds were still stuck on the Chris Ford Bridge. For us, our entire front line was dependent on holding this one bridgehead, which meant that day in and day out, we would weather 120 and 150 mm artillery fire, storm cannon barrages, constant infantry attacks, and even attempted shore landings on our coast. For over 72 hours, we lived in a constant state of shelling and repairing, holding the lines against the inevitable, since an attack back into Isua was going to be one of the toughest operations given our current position. To put this into perspective, in order to liberate our home, we had to coordinate the following. First, just like any bridge fight, we needed to secure the southern bridgehead, which meant artillery would first have to suppress the beach, while dozens of infantry would then need to push across the broken bridge and fight off the incoming enemy infantry as well as armor, all while the engineers rebuilt the bridge itself. After having to hold off the enemy for nearly two minutes while repairs finished, we would then have to storm across and destroy what we believe to be at least two bunker bases and an outpost all around the town hall. This was also while making sure the bridge was not destroyed by enemy artillery or infantry, who had extremely easy flanking routes on our west. Finally, we would then have to fight uphill and take out the town hall. But even if we were able to do that, we still had no idea what was south of us in Fleece Road towards Tempest Island. It was a very real possibility that we could destroy everything up to Isua and then be up against a whole nother set of defenses. Let's say we were actually able to do this. Well, we still had to hold the line long enough to allow a construction vehicle to slowly drive up from Chris Ford up to the town hall and then spend another two minutes rebuilding the structure. This was also assuming that the storm cannons on Tempest Island didn't blow us to pieces in the meantime, which we knew was a very real possibility since Chris Ford itself was practically a cratered wasteland by now. Unfortunately, this would require a lot of coordination and numbers, and we just didn't have it. For days, we would attempt this, and we would always just come up short with one part of the operation, either running out of artillery shells when we finally dialed in the guns, not having the tanks when we had infantry, or finally getting across only to be pushed back at night due to not having enough infantry to cover the tanks. It was an incredibly frustrating experience, knowing everything that we had to do, but we just weren't executing it, and it became apparent that the deck was just going to be stacked against us. Our friendly regiments were fighting elsewhere, and why shouldn't they? They were taking back ground easily while we were stuck in a perpetual tug of war over one bridge that had now lasted over four days. And with the Colonials being pushed back everywhere but here in Godcrofts, we knew it was only a matter of time before they too realized that this front was their only real opportunity to regain a foothold back into the war. For the next 10 hours, we would try constant operations into Isua, getting the bridge built once more and even getting a slight foothold by building our own encampment on the shores before we were then finally driven back and the Collies blew the bridge. 
With the amount of times we rebuilt and had the bridge blown, I want to say it wasn't demoralizing, but it really was. We kept trying to stay positive, since for whatever reason, we still were the only ones building the bridge and attacking. It was almost as if the Colonials recognized that we were stretched thin and couldn't stage a proper attack either, so they were perfectly comfortable with letting their gains in Godcraft settle for the time being, while most of their forces fought elsewhere. Each time we built that bridge, we did get closer and closer, so we had to remember to try and stay positive and keep chipping away, no matter how long it took. After five days of siege at Chris Ford, we studied our mistakes and began preparations for what we had hoped to be our final assault over the bridge. We had contacted BA, who were the owners of the Storm Cannon and Prometheans, and had asked them to target Iswa for a fire mission later that day. It was important to not only have close range artillery support in our 120 and 150 guns, but we also needed to make sure that the town was blown apart as we pushed, since it wasn't necessarily the bridge crossing that was causing the problems, but the urban fire where we kept getting bogged down at. We also reached out to our friends CL and KGG, and that within the next few hours, we would be kicking off the operation. So with them getting the heads up, soon a massive amounts of troops, artillery crews, logistics, and armor were prepped and ready to assist. For the first time in days, the region was at max capacity, with so much movement getting prepared for what we were about to do. As snow started to fall in Godcrofts, we all took it as a sign that today would be our day. We threw on our parkas, and the Battle of Isuap began. Bridges up, let's Yo, go, bridges up, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll, it's time to go. Spread out, spread out, boys, spread Stop. out. Okay, clear it out. We got this, we got this. Cover me. Take it. Yo, you got some on the uh, left side here? Yeah, no, no, it was He marked it right there. Look, look on left side, there's mine. Alright, uh, Yo, Fractured, you're uh, gonna get these mines too afterwards, okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, we have a lot of 150. Can we make sure that keeps raining? And if you're not on that gun, I need infantry in those foxholes. Increase your azimuth by like 10. You can fire. One seven now. Infantry, if you're infantry, you need to get it up here. Yeah, you need to create some space. Yo, can you max range? Roger, increasing the max range. Firing. We got this. We max got range, let's go. Got Sending a second max right, range shell. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, yes, we do. Can we uh, drop our azimuth? Drop it by 10. Fired, fired, fired. Right side, quick. You're hitting the town hall. Yeah, keep going. Roger, firing for effect now. Yo, our 150's hitting the town hall. Keep it up, infantry. Let's go, let's go. Yo, you're creating space for the tanks. Let's create some more space, okay? Enemy tank up ahead. Yo, push southwest. You need to clear out the trenches on the southwest. You have enemy infantry in the southwest barn. God save me, no! We had storm Somebody cannon? Please, for the love of God, tell me that was hard. That's a, that's a friendly storm cannon, dude. Oh, well, Blackwash is getting hit. That or, uh... I hope to God it's Isua. They Yo, tried our... for Isua, but the wind's bad. Artillery, can yeah. you, uh... Can you adjust your azimuth, uh, to the right? Like... Like, uh, Five. like 10. And then drop the distance one. Roger. That tank is right on this oh, uh, corner road. Firing. Firing. Yep, adjust it 10 more. Adjust the uh, asthma 10 more. Is this enemy? Yeah. Good job, good job. Sent. Firing for effect now. Yeah, this is perfect. It's right across the road from us. 
Yo, we got AT. All right, yeah, hold fire, hold fire, shit. dude. That. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, dude! That literally <laughs> landed in our thing. You guys need fuel? Him. You guys need fuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 no! Go, go, go! Oh, perfect. I'm gonna DC. Don't kill me. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait for you. Don't worry. I got you. I got. You. Oh, it doesn't take diesel. I my gas Will they have, tank. Will they have fresh crew? <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I saw tanks not oh in the god. front and I got scared, man. Oh my god. That's exactly yo, 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 fuel up, fuel up, top up, top up. I got you, I got you. I got you, I got you, man. Keep it up. We're taking this back tonight. The town hall is down. Town, town hall is down? Boy. Let's go! Yes, let's go, yo, fill up a couple more people. Get in here, get in the back here. A couple more, let's go. This was ours. In, let's do this. We're on the town hall. He's a brig. He was a brigadier general, and I killed him. Yo, infantry in this town hall now. It's still an infantry fight. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry. sorry. Hey, there's a, there's a there's a half track, quarter half track down down uh, to the east. Down, we have a CV down. coming up. We need to protect this at all costs. Okay. Three days and eight goddamn hours. In this run. It's not. We don't have it yet, guys. Keep it up. It ain't over until we reclaim Fort Spud. Let's break and go. Let's go. Oh my God. No! I got you. Come on, let's go. Did we just get Boy, the town hall? That's how ours. We got the damn town hall! Hell oh yeah. my god! Boy, I Hell yes! Hold oh, hold this! It's Spudland! It's Spudland! We're dancing in potatoes! Yo, stolen outlaw, stolen outlaw. Yo, you can see the outlaw, outlaw. Outlaw that way. Let's go. Yo, don't let infantry take this. Whoa, ah! oh God, yeah, be a little closer. CL, you got that one? Nice, nice, infantry, let's go. Yo, do not let them get close to this tank. Shit. Shield these tanks. They can't do their job unless we do ours. Go uh, behind the tree, medic, up. medic. They're coming down. They're above us. Above, above us, they're coming around here, southwest. Enemies on this road. Medic! Yo, is that... We're getting storm cannon now. Do not think that's a friendly storm cannon, boy. If it is, they're being attacked. They're being attacked. It's enemy, it's enemy. Is there a, a Russian? It's Russian storm, you know, I think, down south. All right, that means we need BMATs. We need to rep this. Get his BMATs in the temple. All right. right. Yo, hammers out, there. hammers out. Sorry, right, boys, keep your pants. Ah! It's all right. It's okay, hold strong, hammers. They will break our spirit, but they will never break our future. They won't do it. 
I'll go outside. I'll go outside. Alright, we do they're charging with bayonets! People up now! Now, now, now! Somebody get scared! Somebody get a gun! Don't, just grab a pistol. Get the perimeter. Do not let bayonets in here. Let's go. I need a medic. Please, I need a medic. Get it. You got it. We got partisans on the outposts there. They're shooting the shit out of us. We're back on the north. Yo, hold this. Get that. Get that up. We almost have AI, guys. We almost have AI. Tank pushing on the road, let's go! Katie, get your tank! Yes! Move, move, move! Won't be missed, won't be missed. 85, 85! 90%! You're 100, 100, 100. Oh my god! There's one guy in the I'm 50%. I got you, I got you. I disabled it. Okay, it's disabled. It's disabled. It's disabled. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Turn it out, gas it. Gas it, gas it. Turn it out, turn it out, gas this thing. That works, that works too. Great job. Great job. In possibly one of the best combined operations of War 83, we storm through not just Isawa, but Blackwatch, Fleece Road, Tuatha Wash Point, Evil Eye, Alchemio Estate, and Lost Arkle, pushing the Colonials completely back into their concrete zoo on Tempest Island. Ironically, because of how devastated the land was due to their own storm cannon firing on us, they had been unable to set up any proper defenses outside of the town of Isawa itself, allowing for a reverse blitz. It was an overwhelming feeling that I don't think I've ever had in any game before, and as cliche as it sounds, at this point, it really did feel like more than a game to a lot of us. I know it sounds ridiculous, but for those of us who fought here, we woke up every day on Chris Ford to endless shelling and thankless rebuilding of defenses, desperately holding on to the idea that one of these days, we would be taking our land back instead of being target practice for the enemy. Each morning, dozens of us would wake up at 4 or 5 a.m., have a cup of coffee, and walk around trying to survey defenses, gather material, and prep. For us to now be rebuilding Fort Spud, it was amazing. Unthinkable. It was just incredible. For the next day, we would work on our defenses, preparing Godcrofts for another attack that was sure to come. But we also took a look out across the map and planned for another vacation for our weary troops. It had been days since most of us had seen something other than a snowy, frozen bridge fight, and we took this opportunity to travel out west and join our fellow wardens in pushing straight into the colonial heartlands. Our backdrop changing from the burned down buildings and shell craters of Godcrofts to grassy fields and an enormous stone wall. Oh! I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of War 3 And if you did, give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream the wars live as they happen. And finally, if you do want to hang out and chat with the community about Foxhole, other games, life, cat pictures, whatever you want, or perhaps you want to join the Royal Spuds, feel free to join the Discord at discord.gg slash moidog. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. This ambulance is critical to morale. Trust Keep repairing me. the town hall, boy. Yeah. Keep repairing. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's the Got the best horn. Jesus, Katie, no! I'll, I'll keep repairing it. It's critical to morale. No! Oh, I got it. No! I'll avenge you.